I am in love with MIUI ROMs since from 2012 when I flashed MIUI for the first time on Google Nexus S. And then later, whenever I change my mobile phone, I used to check the availability of MIUI custom ROM for that mobile phone. MIUI no doubt is the best ROM in Android world. Well, today I am flashing MIUI ROM on Galaxy S5 that been using by me from 3 days and found it stable. If you want to have a change on your Galaxy S5 then I suggest you to go for it. What's up everyone? I, Tech Infomania say, welcome you all to my channel. The ROM flashing procedure is easy just like we used to flash custom ROMs. Boot into custom recovery. My recovery version is 3.1.1 and found no issues flashing MIUI ROM on Galaxy S5. Go to wipe section and format the selected partitions and go back to main screen then click install and select the downloaded ROM file from the link that is given in my video description. Swipe it to start flashing and when flashing finish then just reboot and do not install the Team Win Recovery app. Galaxy S5 will reboot and will start booting the MIUI 6 ROM for the first time and it will take about 8 to 10 minutes. When booting finally done then complete the setup screen. Then go to settings and then to notifications and status bar and turn on the show carrier name and also change the battery indicator to percentage. So you are gonna see your network carrier name on status bar and battery percentage as well. ROM is stable like using for a daily drive. Everything working so far so good and stable like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data like 3G, 4G, LTE, mobile hotspot, And NFC also working perfect. Interesting. And the sound. The second space is actually working in this ROM. That is amazing. But the dual app creation is not working, maybe the hardware lagging. Just delete the second space if you do not like to have it permanently. In case if you do not like this Chinese keyboard, then go to Play Store and search for a Google keyboard. and install it. After that, go to settings, then to additional settings, then language and input and click current keyboard, then click setup and input methods and turn on the Gboard. Go back and click again current keyboard and select the Gboard and click once again current keyboard then setup input method and turn off the Chinese keyboard 
we need to turn it off must because it will keep popping if we did not turn it off. Now if you want to have a number row on Gboard then click Gboard setting and go to preferences and turn on the number row so you will have a number row in Gboard for easy numbers typing.